Hey, what's up guys? I'm RJ Armentrout. I'm the sales and brand manager here at Veris Engineering. And today we're gonna to be talking to you about the air to oil separator and catch cans. Maybe some of the differences, some of the similarities, and why we feel an air to oil separator is right for your car. So you may be asking yourself, what are the differences between an air oil separator and a catch can? So, air oil separator and a catch can are both trying to do a similar job by trapping oil vapors from an engine's positive crankcase ventilation system or PCV system. The key difference is that AOS is actively separating the oil from the air and recirculating clean oil back into the engine. Whereas a catch can is simply collecting like a basic in and out system, collecting the oil and it requires a lot more periodic uh, maintenance, whether that be checking the lines for condensation, whether that be opening the can itself to empty it out from all of the blow by that has actually been removed from the from the PCV system and added to the catch can. So that's one of the biggest differences between the two. Makes the AOS a little bit more of a set it and forget it option. There's less maintenance needed. See, it. So where'd you get this one? This is the, uh, this is the eBay special catch can right here. So um, as the oil comes in, it is deposited into this can. You see some stainless steel mesh in here to kind of keep things clean. Uh, but over time, the oil builds up. And if you do not empty this, the oil could also come back out and back into the engine. We don't want that. So that, that's one of the detractors of just a standard, typical catch can system. This one here is equipped with a pretty nifty little dipstick. So you can at least check the level, which is a nice addition. But many catch cans don't have something like this. Some have a little plastic tube. You might be able to check the level that way. Um, but if you do see any catch can that doesn't have any level checking whatsoever, no dipstick, no tube that you can see, no window, I would try to stay away from that unless you're ready to empty that multiple times. The AOS is more of like a set it and forget it option when it comes to the maintenance needed. I'm gonna open this up here and just kind of give you an idea of all of the uh, filtration that we use and the baffling that we use here at the Veris Engineering um, AOS, but we'll get to that here in a minute. Can I interrupt you guys? Yeah, please. I've got a call and I want another call currently. I got you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, you're welcome. This is RJ, how may I help you? Good, how you doing, Alicia? So we got to see the inside of the oil catch can. We got to see that it's fairly basic in its approach to separating air from oil, capturing the oil particulates, and then laying the air back freely. So with our AOS, you're gonna look at the complex internal baffle system and the filtration system that we use on our air to oil separator. You can see it's very different than what we just saw with the oil catch can. Uh, that is because we use these five micron coalescent filters. This internal baffling system all work in conjunction to give you the maximum filtration of oil particulates and air, making sure that no oil gets sucked back in to your intake tract. All these features go into removing as much oil from the intake tract as possible which means that that's going to reduce the carbon buildup on your intake valves. Any direct inject motor has issues with potential carbon buildup, especially in a higher performance application. So this removes that issue from your direct inject motor, especially when tuned. Turbocharged cars can live by that. Reduces your chance of knock from lowered octane. Um, lowered octane is going to reduce performance. Um, knock can not only reduce performance, but can also cause issues, uh, malfunctions with your tune, um, potentially damage to your motor. 
I do have, I have personal experiences with both. So right. I actually had the, the slush suck up out of an oil catch can. Mm -hmm. um, I actually think it was this one if I recall correctly. And it sucked up the condensation into the crankcase, added a bunch of positive crankcase pressure. Um, it's really dangerous for your motor. Mine was gone after that. So the other major benefit from the air to oil separator is it reduces potential for knock through reduced octane levels from having that oil come back into the intake track. Something that a lot of guys who drive a high performance application um, or drive a forced induction application know that if you get oil back into that intake track, it reduces your performance. Um, it can potentially cause uh, even detonation issues, which is, which is permanently damaging to a motor. This is a great safeguard to protect your highly tuned machine or your performance machine from such issues. So when you do have to drain this AOS, really simple drain valve at the bottom. Unscrew it like so. Drain the contents into a small container. Um, I've used a, a small water bottle before with the top of it cut off. Uh, something that is going to be able to catch whatever this holds. And then as soon as it's drained out, really easy just to spin it back up. There's an internal O-ring on this drain valve as well. And now we're ready for another, I would say, three to 4,000 miles of service. Um, being, a, being a track enthusiast myself, when I had this on a, a GT350 that I own, I always made a rule of thumb to check this at every oil change, especially if you're gonna be on the track driving the car very hard um, my GT350 saw RPM ranges well above 7,000 RPM um, routinely on being a track vehicle. So the chances for blow by, the harder you drive your vehicle, the more chance you have for that blow by to happen. Um, that's where this unit really shines. So you may be asking yourself now between these two, it sounds like they do a lot of the same stuff. Why would you get the air to oil separator? Well, the air to oil separator just gives you a lot more advanced filtration technology. Um, ours has a superb build quality. Being built here in house means that we get to control the quality control um, process. We make sure that what we send you is the same product that we would run on our own cars. The beauty of our AOS is we have a couple of add-ons that are available. One of those add-ons is a coolant plate. So the coolant add-on plate would go on the back right here on the back panel and it increases the temperature of your AOS. Well, why is that important? Well, anytime that you have a system that takes fluid out of your motor, that fluid is then sitting in a container that no longer heats up at the same frequency and temperature of your motor. Because of that, something like this, especially an oil catch can, can build up condensation, especially around the lines. Um, if you live in a colder climate, no one ever recommends that you run an oil catch can in a colder climate on a car that's driven in cold weather uh, because that condensation has to go somewhere. More often than not, it does get sucked back through the system and back into the motor, which is definitely not where we want that to go. So. That coolant add-on increases the temperature of your AOS, so you can run this in a cooler climate, and it reduces that condensation buildup within the AOS. It's one of the unique features of an AOS versus a catch can. A catch can doesn't have that advanced heating system that works off of your coolant. Another one of the positive features that we have for this is we can actually drain this directly back into the crankcase. Um, we have a kit for our Mark V Toyota Supra that automatically drains the oil caught in the AOS directly back into the engine. When you route it that way, you no longer have to worry about emptying this because the oil goes directly from this system back into the motor and you have an ultimate fire and forget solution. Yeah, so when you want to choose an AOS, if you want a low maintenance solution to minimize oil buildup in the intake system, 
um, or for a high performance vehicle or even small amounts of oil in the intake can affect performance. So any of you guys driving a high horsepower build, anyone that's driving a car that they track frequently, I would strongly recommend an air to oil separator. Um, I've run air to oil separators personally on my own vehicles on the track and I can tell you it's definitely made a difference in the maintenance routine. Um, my cars were much happier after a long day in the intense heat at a track in the southeast or in the southwest. Um, air to oil separator definitely I can attribute to more smiles per gallon in my cars. Um, if you're looking for a more budget friendly option, catch cans are usually a great option for someone that is trying to get that blow by out on a budget. Um, when you wanna visually monitor the amount of oil being captured, uh, that's a, a great opportunity to run a catch can as well if they have something like this dipstick. Um, with all of that being said, the beauty of our air oil separator is it functions as both. It functions as a, a very well thought out and designed catch can system that can function as an air oil separator um, and with the right add-ons and the right ingenuity can be made for a piece that is a maintenance free for a lifetime of performance on your car. So if you're in the market for an AOS, we make these for several applications. Those so specific applications come with silicone hoses that are, that are custom cut for that application. Um, everything about our specific applications will work for like an S550 Mustang, um, or will work for a Mark V Supra, or will work for an FK8 Civic Type R. With that being said, if you are looking for a superior air oil separator unit that gives you a very robust filtration system. This could be a great addition to your track build. All right guys, thanks for watching today. I hope you learned the differences between an AOS and a catch can and probably some similarities as well. So you saw that our AOS in specific kind of functions as both, which is really cool. I mean, you even heard a little bit about how if we don't make this as an application specific to your vehicle, we might still be able to help you out. By all means, if you have any questions, please feel free to email us at sales at veris-engineering.com. Again, that's sales at veris-engineering.com. Don't forget the dash. And until next time, stay tuned.